pads have not even come on yet. Like what is going on right now? So before anybody tells me that this isn't even that serious, let me just stop you right there and tell you an Achilles injury takes up minimum six months. What is going on Ravens flock? My name is Drastic and I want to welcome you guys back to another video on our YouTube channel Flocking Ravens and on today's video we're going to be talking about a couple of things but before we start off this video I just want to let you guys know that today is not my morning. I am not having the best morning today because I'm going to be honest with you guys I'm still stuck on yesterday's news about Marcus Peters joining the Las Vegas Raiders, all right? Not because I thought that he was going to come back to the Ravens because I didn't think the Ravens were bringing back Marcus Peters after, um, you know, seeing that Marcus Peters took off all of his Ravens pictures off all his social media. And um, also just the fact that, you know, we, we didn't hear any um, news about the Ravens bringing him back to, you know for a workout or that the Ravens are in talks with Marcus Peters but we did hear that the Raiders are bringing Marcus Peters in for a workout right so that let me know that you know maybe the Ravens are just not going to bring back Marcus Peters right so um I thought I had actually accepted the fact that he's not coming back to the Ravens but when I saw that notification I realized really quick that I was not okay with him joining another team because the moment I saw that notification, yo, I was so hot. I was so hot because I, I honestly um, just couldn't picture Marcus Peters playing this year with any other team but the Ravens. And you got to be happy for Marcus Peters. Oh my God! Wow! because Marcus Peters gets to play the game that he loves so much for one more year. Not only that, but he also gets to play for the team that he's always rooted for since he was a kid. Because as many of you guys may know, Marcus Peters was born and raised in Oakland. And before um, the Raiders were known as the Las Vegas Raiders, they were the Oakland Raiders, right? So he gets to live out his dream playing the sport that he loves and also playing for the team that he's always rooted for and dreamed of one day playing for. It actually came reality today. I wish I could tell you guys that we're going to change the topic and start talking about a more positive Raven news. But unfortunately, I have more bad news to tell you guys today. I don't even want to talk about the news that I'm about to tell you guys because I don't want to bring that energy into our team, right? But unfortunately, we do have to talk about it. And that topic is injuries. So we actually got some news that earlier on this week, we got some news that there are already some injuries in our team, right? Many of you guys have already read the reports of some of our players that have already got injured before the season even started. Some of those players include J.K. Dobbins, Patrick Ricard, Pepe Williams, uh, Rashad Nichols, and Mike Thomas. Also uh, Rashad Bateman. But yesterday, we actually got another news of another player that also got injured. And that player is um, long snapper uh, Nick Moore. Our long snapper Nick Moore tore his Achilles. How, Twain? Can somebody please explain to me how our long snapper is tearing his Achilles? Like, what is going on in our training facility? John Harbaugh seriously needs to get the whole training staff. And have a serious meeting with them and just start holding them accountable because this is getting way out of hand. Our long snapper tore his Achilles. Can you guys just learn from the past seasons and just keep the training simple? Pats hasn't even come on yet and we already have a long snapper tearing his Achilles. There is no need. There is no scenario where our long snapper should be tearing his Achilles like you guys do not need to complicate anything. Just keep it simple. Pads have not even come on yet. Like what is going on right now? So before anybody tells me that this isn't even that serious, let me just stop you right there and tell you an Achilles injury takes up minimum six months. All right. He got injured last week. I don't know why we're just finding out about this, but whatever. That's another topic. He got injured last week. So six months from now, that's leading up to January, right? Going into January. So that's the minimum. So that's not guaranteed that he's going to be ready to come back in six months. Minimum is 
looking we're looking at January. But I honestly feel like it's season ending for him, right? Now, I know we could um a long snapper is a it's a position that's a lot easier to replace, right? Because um it's not like, you know, uh it's losing your number one wide receiver or your quarterback. Um it's a different position that you could you have a better shot of replacing somebody that could give you the same production, right? The Ravens already replaced our injured long snapper by signing the Seahawks long snapper um, Tyler Oates. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but we signed him last night. So um, that that goes to show you guys. Yeah, it's a position that you could uh, replace like easy, right? But that doesn't take away from the fact that our long snapper got injured last week in training camp because I'm not upset that our long snapper got injured, right? I'm upset at the type of injury our long snapper suffered from training in our training facility, right? Because no long snappers should be tearing their Achilles during training. I don't even think they should be tearing their Achilles during a game. I don't know if I'm exaggerating with this uh, injuries that are coming up, but I feel that the Ravens need to slow things down during training camp because all these injuries, it's like it's just giving you flashbacks of every season uh, for the last what four years, the beginning of every season. Like before the season even starts, we get the same news: this person went down, that person went down. It's the same thing every season. So we're already getting these um, these reports of our players getting injured. So right now is the time for John Harbaugh to sit everybody down, players, uh, coaching staff everybody and see how we can minimize injuries, right? What do I mean by this? Zay Flowers this season, we're highly depending on him, right? To have to pretty much play the whole season. We do not need Zay Flowers, our round one pick of the draft, playing the whole entire preseason. I think it would be smart for the Ravens to only allow him to go all in during the um the training camp phase with uh wh where they do it with the commanders let them go all in during that phase but when the preseason starts don't put zay flowers through the whole game maybe put him in for one quarter or maybe even half the game at most but do not risk playing him the whole game for all three games because you're gonna risk him getting injured again because don't forget zay flowers already got injured i forget what type of injury he had but he got injured early on uh, during the mini camp or something like that i don't know if you guys remember um it wasn't that serious because after a couple of weeks we saw zay flowers already working now with lamar jackson obj and all of that right but you don't want to risk the preseason. I get it. John Harbaugh views the preseason like as if it's our playoff game, right? He wants to win every single game, even if that means putting in our starters. Cut that out. Cut it out. We do not need to injure none of our starters. Don't put in David Ojabo. Don't put in, um, if J.K. Dobbins is back, don't put in J.K. Dobbins. Don't put in Gus Edwards. Don't, pay, don't put in OBJ. Don't put in uh, Zay Flowers. Don't put in Rashad Bateman. Don't put in Devin DuVernay. Any starters that we have, do not put them in, all right? Even rookies. The rookies that you have high expectations for, the same thing. Play them during the uh, training camp that they get to do with the commanders. But don't play them each and every game, the full entire game. Like I said, maybe half a game and that's it. And keep it simple. Um, Yo, do me a favor. Somebody go check up on uh, our mascot, Poe. Do not let Poe go out on that field during the preseason. The same rules apply to our mascot. Don't let him step foot on that field. Keep them away from the from the stadium until the season starts. When the season when when week one comes around, all right, bring in Poe. But before that, I don't even, I don't want to see Poe. I don't want to see Lamar Jackson. I don't want to see Zay Flowers. I don't want to see none of those players during the preseason. Anyways, guys, that's it for me for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know my point of view on this whole situation with all these reports coming out of injuries already. Anyways, leave your comment down below to let me know if you guys agree with me or not, or if you guys think that I'm reaching. I don't think I am because 
we already saw the same thing three, four years ago in a row. Did we not? So I don't think I'm reaching, but let me know if you guys think I am. And also make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also share the channel with a family or friend. Um, just let them know what's the channel to come to if they want to get connected with a flock. And with that, I'm going to see y'all on the next one.